In this video, we are going to make an overview about email verification feature. That's an advanced feature. So in order to use this, you need a MailTrain account, a MailTrap account, or any other service like MailHug or SM, any SMTP server. So in this case, I will use MailTrap. I will grab the credentials. I go to the EMB file and from mail encryptation to mail mailer. I change the values and add a fake mail to test. If I install a project, I will see that for this feature, um, the package adds a sample route. This route, if we remove the comments, we can see that this route is just a, a get method. Uh, it's an endpoint that return a message. You need to use the verify middleware and a correct authentication middleware. The outkit class returns the correct uh, middleware if you are using Passport or if you are using Sanctum. So it handles it for you, but you can remove it and use the string of the correct uh, package. It just handles for you and it's easy. Uh, okay, we have now this endpoint. And if we go to a slash API, a slash verify middleware example, that is just a sample, we will see that we are not authenticated. So we need a barrier token and we are going to log in as John Doe to get a token. So I will copy the token and I will use the token. Well, right now, we are almost ready. We only need to make a little change, and it's because uh, the Laravel framework uh, needs to add a trait to the user model to use this verify email. So we can uh, implement must verify email traits in the user model or the model that we use to authenticate. Well, Right now, we have our endpoint and we have a valid token. As we can see in the sample route, we could be authenticated, but the email is not verified, so we are not allowed to see this message until we verify our email account. I will send a request and it says that your email address is not verified and it's an abort um, a helper that returns the message so it adds uh, more info. But if your application is in uh, production mode, it will just return the message. Okay, so how we can handle this? We could uh, see uh, endpoint, that is email verification, and to, in order to use this, we can uh, use the endpoint. It's a slash API, a slash email, a slash verification, notification. So we can see this in, in our table. It's a post method. So we can go here and add the values that we need. In this case, I will use the token that I have generate. So I am almost ready. Uh, just to see in the docs, the email verification is this endpoint and we are going to send. This is uh, an endpoint that does not require any field. So we only need to get a VRIR token like it says here and we're going to send the request. Uh, the route is not correct because this project does not exist, is passport app. So I will send an email sent. Okay, uh, I could see a notification and here the notification will uh, have two different options and values. Those values can be customized in config JSON API auth file, so you can customize the behavior to different URLs. If the email 
uh, account was already verified or if at this moment it's just verified. And it uh, add this functionality because uh, maybe you want to create in the front a different views for these messages or the same. So you can customize this and you will have uh, an email verified URL. So if I click here, I will see verified. Your frontend.com that already does not exist, but it's just an example. It's the sample URL and you need to update to your frontend application um, URL. But if you click again, it will show the already verified endpoint. So you can customize these routes and the server will redirect to the uh, correct URL. Right now, the email account is verified. So if we refresh the email verified at column has a value. And if we go to the middleware, we are not see this error anymore as forbidden and we are authenticated so so we are able to see the message. I send a request and the message is the email account is already confirmed. Now you are able to see this message. With this, we are done with this feature. So you can create any route as the sample and just add the correct authentication middleware. This outkit is pretty much the same in Passport as Alt API or in Sanctum as Alt Sanctum. But if you don't want to be worried about it, you can use this class and it will guess for you. And add the verified middleware to any route that you want and this feature will be available.